introduce him. Shut up. <laughs> you guys know who it is. What's up, man? How's it going? Circle of Drink. Circle of Drink. Wow, it's been a, a year and a half last time we were both on camera like this talking about Mate. A lot has happened. A lot has occurred. I've been uh, in Argentina, as you guys know. Uh, Uruguay, back in Uruguay. Just doing my thing. Totally uh, engulfing myself in this Mate world. Uh, this Mate dream that's going on right now. This Mate culture, life, experience. It's blood. I mean, if I cut myself open right now, I think Mate's going to come out. Not, not, not even blood. <laughs> Yeah, you guys know I've been in uh, New York City for the past year. I've been having various circles with different students, different friends. Um, you can check my YouTube channel for that. Uh, a lot of education has been going on, a lot of different reviews. Dave and I have both been having them. David's been uh, polishing up his palate over there in Argentina with all the different types of yerba. I've been sticking to the good American brands I can get my hands on. My friends, you know, Guayaki, Ecotees, Aviva, <laughs> people like that. So, um, yeah, and today we have something special. What do we have? Tell them. It's uh, it's mate called Meta Mate, and it's from polvo, 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 polvo. It's from a, a place called Santa Maria, Rio Grande do Sul, in that's the southernmost state in Brazil, and a company from Berlin called Meta Mate, M E T A, space M A T M A T E. Uh, they're out in Brazil, and actually this is distributed in America by a company called Project Mate Bar. And they're located in South Florida, so check them out. Check out their website. Uh, check it out. This is what we got. Sample from Meta Mate. Thank you so much, guys. Um, this mate is very interesting. Um, it's packaged only a day, you know, after after uh, it's harvested, and that's why it's so green. And in all honesty, it's straight up polvo. Cold water first. You guys know the deal. Straight up polvo and the palos, those are the twigs or the stems for those of you guys uh, who may not know, are huge. They're the, they're the biggest I've ever seen. Yeah, monster palos. You guys know if you ever uh, had Jesper Mate, I call those a mo monster palos. This brand called Jesper in Argentina, I'm not going to go into uh, too deeply, but they basically have monster, monster palos. This mate has huge palos as well. What's interesting about this mate is that it's super gaucho. Some of you guys have been asking me over the couple last couple of weeks, what is exactly constitutes a gaucho mate? Well, gaucho mate, the word gaucho means cowboy. Uh, and you can think of gaucho mate as sort of the equivalent of cowboy coffee here in the United States. It's basically mate that's extremely uh, finely ground, has a lot of polvo, a lot of pulverized leaves. And also, geographically speaking, the mate usually comes from uh, Brazil. In Brazil, they love powerful powdery mate and then you have brands like uh, Canarias, uh, Sara, Baldo and uh, what else and Del Salvador those brands all come, are grown in southern Brazil but they're owned by uh, Uruguayan companies those are also gaucho mates so yeah and going with you know the Brazilian style of having a lot southern of polvo mate, yeah. a lot of dust uh, our friends from Meta Mate and Project Mate Bar actually sent us a filter. This Crazy. white thing right here. We just attached it to uh, a bombisha. I think one of David's favorites. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's one of my Where alpaca from? bombichas from. Uh, actually, Mate Factor sent me that bombisha like two years ago. I don't know if you can check that out through the filter. It's a fan bombisha. So we just attached that filter up to it because this is this is so powdery. You know, we need something like this. So this Mate has the most uh, pulverized. Leaves and palos I've ever seen in my life. It's actually, it's really interesting to say the least to look at it right now. Let's see how it tastes. You mind if I try it first? No, go for it. Yeah, since I made it. But man, this whole thing where you put on the filter is kind of interesting. I've never seen that done. Where you actually, it's actually, uh, it looks like cheesecloth. I'm sure that's exactly what it is. Cheesecloth. Let's see this. It tastes good. I mean, as you guys know, as a as, as a little uh, introduction, I usually don't rate mates uh, too deeply just by the first time trying them because I like to play with them for at least a day or two, three days. Uh, so in that light, 
Uh, so far, I like this mate. It's it's good. It's a nice, uh, rich, uh, gaucho-esque sort of mate. It is purely gaucho, actually. Uh, it has components of Canadias, uh, components of uh, Del Salvador. It's really creamy. It's creamy, and it's also very, very uh, smooth as well. And also has that gaucho kick to it. Maddie, you let me know how it thinks. How you, yeah. what you think about it? Yeah. I'm having a little time uh, suctioning the mate. That might be my fault. Yeah, hard but, time. Yeah, a little bit. Maybe because there's just so much uh, powder in it. But try that. Thank you. Salud. Salud. Estamos contento. Hmm. First thing I noticed is that uh, this filter is doing an okay job, but uh, probably not the best that it should be. Um, I'm tasting a little of the mate, a little of the powder in my mouth. But in terms of the taste, it's not bad. It's not that bitter. You know, I taste a little astringency in it. But it's nothing super, you know, it's nothing super hard, super harsh. It goes down extremely smooth. And that may be due to the way that's processed, you know, it being polvo. It's very smooth, nothing like, huh, nothing very harsh at all. I'm not sensing any harsh tones. The bambiche is getting slightly clogged. Um, but this is reminiscent of something like the mate factor to me. It's very fresh. Uh, that's one of the best words that I can use to describe this mate. And... I'm almost positive that that's due to it being uh, packaged the day after they harvested or the day after it's produced. This is the thing from what I've experienced. <clears throat> you have sort of different philosophies in terms of processing mate. You got some people like Mate Factor who literally uh, package and ship the mate within five days of being harvested. There's absolutely no. Uh, uh, I guess you could say fermenting period or uh, storage period. A lot of companies store mate up to 12 to 18 months. Then you have companies uh, in, in Paraguay that actually store their mate up to two to three years. The thing with that, there's, plot, there's pluses and negatives with that. And just to briefly go into that, uh, the mate has a very fresh, sort of green, grassy explosion with the mates that aren't really uh, aged for, age for a long time. That's because obviously there's a higher chlorophyll content, uh, there's a higher vitality, if you will, of greenness in it, which arguably may be actually more nutritious for you. However, what I notice with those sort of mates is that the taste usually doesn't last as long, it's usually a shorter cycle. Yeah, most definitely. So there's, there's pros and cons to it. You know, some people may like, you know, the harsh, uh, bitter taste of mate that's been aged for a while. Um, and some others may prefer this gentle, this fresh, this earthy, grassy taste, you know, that you get with something like this or the mate factor. I, I don't strictly prefer one over the other. It's just basically how I'm feeling. What about you? That's the thing. I mean, with a gaucho mate like this, I can't even begin to compare it to a mate, say like Nobleza Gaucho or Taragui or Cruz de Mate, because those are all very traditional uh, uh, Argentinian sort of mates. It's a whole nother philosophy. It's a whole nother region where they're grown. Obviously, they're grown in the northern part of Argentina, the Misiones, which produces a very distinct sort of mate. And of course, it's a different cut. Then when you have the Gaucho mate, you have a whole nother philosophy. Strong mate, a lot of polvo, uh, a lot of pulverized palos. And it's just a, it's an explosion a flavor, very robust, very uh, strong backbone sort of mate. So to say that one is better than the other is like to compare apples to oranges. You know what I mean? Which one's better, an apple or an orange? It's, that question doesn't even make sense, really. Totally different philosophies. Uh, so I kind of think of gaucho mates as gaucho mates. And I think of Ar Argentinian mates as Argentinian mate. And then I think of the, uh, the four major companies here, United States, uh, Guayaquil, Mate Factor, uh, Aviva and Ecotees as sort of in their own category because they have another philosophy of producing mate which is actually an amazing philosophy. They produce organic mate, uh, clean, clean, very clean fair factories. trade. Guayaki is, is actually one of the first companies to become a B corporation which is a sense for benefit corporation which means that they actually disclose a lot of information about how they're producing their mate and opening it up to the public's eyes so we can see how sustainable the company is. It's, it's, it's a great philosophy. So, uh, you know, maybe sometimes I come off as a little harsh on these American brands United from North America, 
But deep down inside, I love them. They're good. They taste good. It's just that I've had, I've been exposed to about 35 different types of, of sherba that range between Argentinian, Gaucho, Paraguayan, and Uruguayan. That my palate is, you know, uh, has gone above and beyond the typical Argent, uh, the, uh, American, North American palate for mate because I lived there for two years. So when I'm comparing North American mate to say South American mate, for me, I'm gonna say, okay, guys, you got, it's great to drink Aviva, it's great to drink Guayaki Ecotees, but you're gonna also want to get onto uh, one of these great websites. If you're in England, go to Udu Shop. Or if you're in the United States, you want to go to uh, Sherba Mate. Dot, I don't know. I don't even know the names of the of the, the URLs right now off the top of my head. But you can order mate from all over the world. If you love mate, you got to try Rosa Mate. You know, you got to try Cruz, Cruz de Malta. You got to try Canad. You got to try Canadias. You got to expand and broaden your mate palate. It's like wine. There's a whole world of mate out there, not just these four companies, the United States of America. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess so. I mean. Obviously, I haven't lived in Argentina. I've never been there. It, it's a plan one day, of course. You know, I will. But uh, I haven't been exposed to as many mates as Dave Mate over here has. He just said, you know, 35 plus around that. Me? Maybe at most? Uh, I don't know. 8? 10? At most? Um, but I also find that that doesn't mean that I can't judge a good mate, you know. Uh, my palate may not be as sophisticated as Dave's, but... I can distinguish, you know, between like a Cruz de Malta and something like uh, something like what David Dave just introduced me to this morning, Palo Alto. Palo Alto, uh, oh man. Yeah. That that mate has a lot going on, you know. I can distinguish between that and the mate factor, uh -huh. that eco tease with different tastes and whatnot. And I know what I like. And having this foundation, having this strong base of, you know, the first five or eight mates that you try, having that strong foundation will put you in a good place to be able to distinguish between future mates and to be able to sense certain um, different tones and different flavors and you'll be able to see you know which is the type of mate that you want to drink at you know 12 a.m. or 12 p.m. Mm -hmm. which is the mate that you want to drink before you go to sleep which is the mate that you just want to chill with that you want to go hang out with a girl with a guy with anyone you know mm -hmm. because these different mates impart different things in terms of the flavors and in terms of the feelings you know at least that's what I think um, and that's why it's just like, you know, Dave's going back to wine, you know. I don't know if you're going to want to have, you know, you want red wine with certain types of food, you know. I think with meat or something like that. Mm -hmm. White wine with something like fish. You know, same thing with mate. You want different things for different settings, different different feelings, different, you know, places. No, I totally agree with that. That's, and that's one of the fun things about mate. Because as much as we categorize mate put it at different levels, say this one's this rating, that one's that rating, at the end of the day, it's all about it. The experience, the fun, having fun, sharing yourself with people, uh, and also, and that's okay to categorize mate and say this one tastes better for yeah. me, this one doesn't. That's all good. That's fun. That's a part of the the joyous experience of mate. You know, sometimes I'll have people come over when I'm living in Argentina, and I know that this particular girl, this particular guy, doesn't like gaucho mate. So you, what am I going to do? I'm going to run to my Argentinian supply. I'm going to get Cruz de Malta, or maybe I'm going to get Guayaquil if I have any on me, or maybe I'm going to get something smooth like Ecotees if I have it on me. Or if I'm with one of my bros that loves that gaucho rich richness, I'm going to pull out the Canarias. Or if I'm here in the States and I got some nice, you know, uh, I want some nice mellow mate, I'm going to Guayaquil traditional. They grow, they have a great shade grown mate. Or maybe I'm going with a Viva if there's any in the kitchen, I don't know. Maybe I'm going with mate. If I have mate factor, of course I'm drinking mate factor because you guys know I love that rich maltiness of it. But at the same time, I'm not going to pigeonhole myself into any particular mate or any particular brand. Like for instance, today I'll drink at least three or four different types of mate just because that's what I do. I love gaucho in the morning. You know, I love that gaucho in the morning. Then in the afternoon, I go to something lighter, like maybe uh, La Esquina de Flor which is a nice, light, organic uh, Argentinian mate, or maybe I'll go with Cruz. I don't know. It's just the luck of the draw that day. It depends on what I'm feeling. But to bring it back down to this mate, Meta Mate, I would definitely drink it again. <laughs> we totally forgot about Meta Mate. Yeah, it's just, we're just sipping on it, and look, it's, you know, just inspiring us in all these different ways. Um, I would definitely drink this. And uh, what I said, you know, in um, the beginning of the video, how I was sucking up some of this, uh, some of the Paulo, it was going out. That, yeah, it's tasty, and that has sort of subsided as uh, this mate has gone on. Um, and also, I really, I can't stress it enough in like such a nonchalant and not so serious way, but if you've never tried mate, go out there and try it. Mm -hmm. 
you know, if you're around Long Island or New York City, talk to Dave or one or, or I or myself, and we'll hook you up with someone. Oh yeah, you can we'll come give it to you, man. Yeah, you can come to our house in our backyard and sit with us for a day. We can go do different things. We can go hang out in my apartment in If Brooklyn. you're in the tri-state area, man, look look for us. Yeah, and if you're not, get to the closest store. They're everywhere. You know, it's around in, in Oregon. You know, in California, places go, like that. Go pick up some guayaki. Go to Whole Foods. Get yourself guayaki. Boom. Get yourself a gourd if you want. Shameless self-promotion. Go to circleofdrink.com. What we got here? And buy one of our gourds. We got these gourds from Argentina. We we brought them over, imported them ourselves. And carob wood and silicone. Yeah, tell them, man. Different colors. We have this in white. We have we have Purple. these in multiple colors. And um, they're they're good. They're good gourds to drink out of. You know, it's not just us, you know, BSing and saying, oh, because they're our gourds, you should buy them. No, they're good gourds, you know. And if you don't have a gourd, you definitely need one. This gourd is really cool. This is made out of a sort of wood called carob wood. As Mateo was saying, it's a solid gourd. You can't go wrong. It's a wooden gourd. It actually has three little patitas. That's what we call legs in Spanish. Three little legs. And it's just chill. You get a bombisha that comes with a gourd. Uh, or if you want something, you don't want to worry about uh, cleaning your gourd. These are definitely new age. Just definitely check New them age, out. baby. These are the new age. These are food grade silicon. Uh, say you're in the train or on a car, you're with some friends, you don't want to have to cure the gourd. You don't want to worry about cleaning out the gourd. All you do is you put in your mate, your sherba. You fill it in, you put in your gourd, you know, you prepare mate as anyone would prepare it. When you're done, you got it actually a little button here that says play. You push through that button, and the wow. sherba, boom, just falls right out, and then you're ready. You don't have to scrape it out, none of that stuff. You're not even, oh, I did not even see that. That's play you, button on the bottom. Do you see bottom. that play button? <laughs> I did not even see that. That's dope. Circleofdrunk.com forward slash store, and you can check out our supply if you guys are interested in getting a a gourd or a mate. Remember, a mate and gourd are synonymous, and it also comes with a bombisha. So, getting back to meta, uh, what is this brand called again? Meta mate. I also want to point out uh, Meta mate. Um, they make some gourmet chocolate as well. Uh, I would definitely get your hands on it. Dave's the one that's going to be uh, eating this up because it has some nut milk in it, and I'm allergic to nuts. So it's too bad. But uh, yeah, check out www.metamate.cc. That's the website. You can check it out. I recommend this mate. I mean, obviously I'm going to have to play around with it before I do my more formal review when I write about it and everything. But as of now, I like it. It's good. It's tasty. It's super gaucho. In fact, what I want to call this is the green gaucho of all gauchos right now because it's super green tasting. I'm getting super grass coming through, super chlorophyll, super allergy tasting. But it has that robustness, backbone, strength, punch you in the face of a nice gaucho, which I love. You know, this mate is not, it's not a soft-spoken mate. It's in your face. And I like that about gaucho mates, especially this one right now, because it has that green component too. And it's not scared to be what it is. This mate is just extremely powdery, and it is what it is. It's not trying to hide anything. It's not trying to be in the middle. Is it a gaucho, or is it a Patagoshan, or is it an Argentinian cut? It's just straight up simple, super gaucho, green mate grown in Brazil, south of Brazil, uh, sold through this cool company with a great philosophy here uh, in Florida. The guy's name is Daniel, right? Daniel, uh, what's no, up, I think dude? It's John, maybe. John? John? Yeah. Okay. Uh, check out their website. We're going to put a link. Maddie, what's this, Mateo, what's the website again? Um, so this one right here is www.metamate.cc. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to say uh, the other website is projectmatebar.com, but you can just Google it. They're in the south of Florida. Check them out. It's a legit bar, I believe, that they're, uh, they're just selling some mate, different kinds, different flavors. Mm -hmm. Check them out. So that's a wrap, guys. Oh, we also have it in tan color, too. Our wooden gourds. Yeah, a lot of colors. A lot of colors. This Check is just out. a couple colors. Check it out. And uh, you guys, listen, man. In all humility. Women, anyone? And women. We love mate. Whether we build a business of it, whether we, whether we, you know, continue sell mate in the future, it doesn't really matter, really. Because personally, I, can, I don't know if I can speak for Mate. I just love mate. It's oh. just that simple. I'm always going to be drinking no about question. it. I'm always going to be sharing it. You know, that's the thing. We were, we were drinking mate before we ever got it from someone else. You know, we were drinking mate before we had the gourds. David was drinking mate for, you know, a year and a half or two more than me. And I'm into it, you know. And, Mate is life. It's just life, man. It's a, it's the symbol. Mate becomes the symbol as you continue to drink it. It elevates beyond a drink, and you see mate as the true nature of it being a symbol that's one of the greatest conductors of friendship 
known to man. I and think. I mean, not I don't, I don't mean to be judgmental in any sense, but if you restrict Mate to this like hippie sixties uh, drug like thing, you have a narrow perception because it could possibly be the opposite. It lacks any you know real classification in terms of what Mate is. You know, we we're here saying oh it creates a bond. It's spiritual. It's health. That's that's tip of the iceberg. You know, mm-hmm. Mate is. And I think it's important that we're kind of laying this groundwork, so to speak, as what Guayaki has been doing since 1996 and other companies in the States, is that it's so important to kind of almost become proponents of this aspect of Mati. Because, I mean, I'm not trying to pr- pr- predict the future, doomsday, but I do <laughs> think that big companies are going to figure out what Mati is all about. As the pharmacology of Mati grows, you know, the University of Illinois just did a great study in 2011 showing that Mati in vitro was killing colon cancer cancer. cells. It was actually exploding the DNA of colon cancer cells. So as the pharmacology advances of Mate, because it's just in its early stage right now, Western pharmacology of Sherba Mate, I predict, and I'm sure Matthew Mateo thinks this too, that in the future we're going to have huge companies trying to exploit Mate in many ways. Oh, it's the newest thing as we've seen over the past... There's no doubt. There's no doubt about it. There'll be a Starbucks Mate. There will be. (laughs) You can't not have that in the future because this is going to happen. It's just, you know, the only reason why this, you know, Mate hasn't caught on by now is just, I don't know, different different aspects, different reasons. You know, we pu- we published that um, that PDF from the 1900s, yeah. this guy saying Mate is going to be the next big thing. It wasn't, you know, people just didn't catch on. It did in other places, but not here. That's why I got to really bow down to many th- and thank a lot of these companies in the United States that are doing great things with Mate. You know, I really love what Guayaki is doing. I really love what Ecotees is doing. I really love what Aviva is doing. I really love what Mate Factor is doing. Because if it weren't for those companies, most Americans that know about Mate now would not have known about it. Granted, Matt, Mateo and I have been speaking about Mate for the past two, two, two plus years. And hopefully, as we've heard from you guys, that we've been expanding Mate in the United States and throughout the world as well. Yeah. And I'm thankful for that. I'm happy to be a part of that. Uh, and I and I implore you guys to do the same. Tell your friends about Mate. And some of you guys already are. We see that on you know our Circle of Drink fan page on Facebook. We see you guys posting pictures of you know about your about you and your friends drinking. You know you posting your experiences about you know the first time that you lost your Mate genity. You know and how you're <laughs> introducing it to your other friends. Mate wanna drink on. <laughs> Keep it up. <laughs> Everyone's just just relaxing with Mate and doing their own thing. You know, Let's and that's it, what's beautiful yeah. about it. That's what I love about it, man. Mate is going to affect everybody in a different way. And it's not, it's unstoppable. Unstoppable force. Because it's so pure. It's a beautiful thing, man. What can I say? What else can we say in this video? I think we got, uh, this video's a wrap. We've already said too much. But anyway, guys, thanks. Um, check out circleofdrink.com. You know, buy, buy a gourd for yourself. Buy a gourd yeah. for a friend. Get yourself a gourd, man. If you don't have a gourd, get yourself a gourd. You want anything, uh, you know, from us in, in the package? You know, a little note, whatever, some instructions, our personal selections. Maybe you, tell us you what you need. Ty- a free sample. Yeah. Mate will even give you a free sample. Sure, yeah. You want some? Whatever. Let us know. Tell us what type of person you are, or what, what you like to eat, what you like to drink. Maybe we'll suggest certain mates. Give you, give you some, uh, give you a little package, whatever. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Salute. Thanks a lot, man. Cheers. Cheers. Peace. Mateo.